am Emma from e Pilates Online. Thank you for joining me today. I'll be showing you a few stretches and exercises that you'll be able to do at your desk. Often when we spend a lot of time sitting either over the computer at our desk or just with our devices sitting on the couch or driving the car we can tend to get forward posture tightness in the neck and shoulder area. Ideally we uh, walking around and getting up about every 20 minutes or so rather than sitting and and doing this <laughs> but not all of us get to do that unfortunately so if you can't if you're stuck at your desk or you're stuck seated then a couple of these movements are going to be great to release tension out of the neck and shoulders and the back so let's begin sitting with your feet flat on the floor and then have your spine nice and straight. So when we're doing these exercises, ideally we're not collapsing, we're not rounded in the shoulders or back. We're sitting up on what we call our sitting bones. Now, if you're not sure of what they are, if you put your hands under your bottom, palms up, you, when you're sitting up really tall, you're going to be able to feel two bones digging into your hands or your fingers, wherever your fingers are. So those bones, your bottom bones, we call it sit bones, ideally you're not off your sitting bones, which is when you're rounded and you're rolled back in a round back, kind of like this. Okay, so when you're up on your sitting bones, your back is straight and you'll feel the difference. See if I can show you one side and then the other. So when you're rounded, the back is flatter against the chair and you're, you won't feel the, the sitting bones digging into your hands as much. But when you sit up tall, so your back is straight, you'll feel those sitting bones a bit more pointy, okay, pressing into your fingers then you know that you're up on top of your sitting bones properly and your back will have the little arch or the gap between kind of the, the chair and uh, your back. So, But if you have a rounded back chair like I do, maybe you won't be um, creating an arch, you'll just be sitting right against that. Okay, so find your good posture for these exercises. Then we're going to start with the next stretch. So without leaning your body, just tilt your head and let your ear come closer to your shoulder. So we're not leaning the body, just the ear, just the neck stretches. So you'll feel a stretch down the side of the neck. And then back up, other side. This one is fantastic just to stretch what we call our upper traps. This area is where we tend to hold the tension and come back up. Now go back to the first side and keep your head on the side, but just turn your chin to look down towards your chest so that you're more opening through the back as well as the side. Now you can even place your hand behind your head, just kind of on the back of your head. You're not pulling down too strong. You're just resting your hand and you'll feel a bit of extra tension or pull and stretch. Doesn't have to be strong. Come back up and let's do the other side. Take it across, then look down. So you're angling your eye line towards your chest, your armpit area. And then if you like, you add a little bit more pressure, hand on the back of the head, but you're not pulling, you're just resting the hand there. Or more on the top of the head rather than the back. Otherwise it's quite strong, just on the top. And then come back up. Let's do a couple more stretches, just go to the side. Then roll your head down the front of the body, back up to the other side. So as you do this, keep your shoulders relaxed if you can. Take it down and up. Let's do two more. Down, just to the front of the body, and back up. One more. And back up. These are great ones. You can even just hold your head forward and feel the stretch kind of running down the back of your shoulders in between your shoulder area. This is a nice one. Again, you can place the hand just on the head. You don't have to pull, just a little bit of weight will give you an extra stretch. And then bring your head back up. Now, another thing you can do is just squeeze your shoulders and then drop them down, literally drop though. So squeeze and drop. So all the tension drops out of the shoulders. 
So when you squeeze, you bring the tension in and when you let go, it's all coming out. One more time, this kind of just releases the muscles because sometimes when we're just holding, we can be at our desk and not realizing we're actually holding and gripping the shoulder muscles and upper traps, we call them. And if we just let go consciously, this is enough just to release tension. Okay, now we're gonna bring the arms by the side and as we do this exercise, again, stay tall. So imagine you're being pulled by the crown of the head to the ceiling. So imagine you have a string tied to the top of the head and it's lifting you up. Keep that feeling. Now, with your palms facing backwards, I want you to keep the tall body and press your arms back and then bring your arms again by your side. So we push the arms back and by your side. So what we're doing is opening the chest and we're actually working those back muscles a little. Press back. And so side on is like this. We push, release. Push the arms behind you if you have space on the chair to do that. And as you do it, if you feel tension in your neck, I want you to keep reaching your arms down towards the floor. So just reach down as you do it. And I want you to feel your chest opening. We call this chest expansion. Good, two more like this. Reach down as you do it. Open your chest. Now, this time I want you to take your palms and turn them forward. And I want you to do it from the shoulders. Open your shoulders. Then release palms face the back. Open your shoulders and then the palms face the back. So as you turn your palms to face forward, you can even reach your arms back a little. And again, if you're feeling neck tension here, reach down towards the floor. Sit tall, reach down. So this is a really nice exercise to get the back muscles working. And I'm actually starting to oh, squeeze a little bit between my shoulder blades. So I'm really squeezing tiny bit between the shoulder blades to get my arms back further. This is a really nice one to really reverse that sitting posture. One more and release. Now take one arm across, but keep, as you take it across, keep your shoulder down and straw and also stretch just kind of in your upper trap. You can even take the ear away from the shoulder you're stretching. That may feel nice as well. Keep the shoulder down is the key. So often this will hike up, so keep it down. This one's a great one. Let's change sides. So the arm goes across and it's straight, but the shoulder doesn't lift. Keep it down, that's the key. Sweep the other arm under and pull that arm in. So you really have to keep the arm straight and pull it in. Shoulder stays down. And if you want to add a little bit extra, you take the ear away from the shoulder you're stretching. This is a great one. Just relax every exhale. And release. Now going back to just hands on your knees. And now I will do this side on. I want you to think of your sternum, so your front chest, lifting up and I want you to open your chest and shoulders and then release. So it's kind of, you'll feel your ribs come up, you'll feel your shoulders open and come back down. So we're working the back muscles here. Open the shoulders, pull your shoulders down a little bit and release. So with this movement, the head may come up a little. You may start to look up and release. So as you look up, it's not overextending the neck, but you may feel nice to do that anyway. That's fine. Hand down. Really feel shoulders opening. I'll just move my headrest back. Opening as you lift and down. Let's do two more. Feel your back lifting and down. One more. Shoulders down, opening at the same time. Release. So that's another nice one. Now, it's not just the shoulders and neck that gets tense, it's often the hips. So if you can't get away from your desk, a quick stretch is bring that shin up onto the knee, flex the foot, and just hold here maybe enough for you, that's fine. 
but if you feel okay you can just hinge slightly forward with a straight back so we don't want to be rounding like this we want to keep a straight spine and lengthen forward so your chest stays open and you'll feel this just as much I love this one. I do this in the uh, airport while I'm waiting for my flights. You can sneak this one in anywhere. It's really good for us. And come back up. Now, if you can, if you have uh, flexibility for this, if you have trousers, obviously, if you're at your desk, you can pull the knee up. You can bring the foot a little closer, rest it on the chair. Pull the knee into the chest. Now this one may not always be possible, but I'm just showing you this one as an extra. That's a deeper bottom stretch. You may feel that definitely down in the bottom. Good, releasing. Let's take the other knee up or leg up, shin up and flex the foot. Keep this flex foot, active foot, hinge your body forward. Keep a nice straight spine so the chest always stays open. Breathing into that. One side may feel a bit tighter than the other and that's normal. Now you can either keep this, if that's enough for you, or pull the knee into the chest and squeeze it in. Twist, as you do this one, twist towards your leg. So you're hugging your knee but you're twisting in that direction. Pull the knee towards you. release it down okay now we're going to do a twist so one hand on the opposite knee and wherever you can reach with your hand on your chair just twist your spine but as you twist lift tall and shoulders stay down so we don't want to add to the shoulder hiking up which we often do when we're sitting on the computer see if you can not move the legs push your leg against your hand and get a deeper twist Release that other side, hand on the knee, lift tall, twist, shoulders down. Keep looking forward, looking up, keep shoulders down and twisting, pressing the knee a little bit against the hand. Releasing and then maybe just a stretch forward will feel good because if your back is tight from sitting you can just fold forward. This is a nice release of the spine. A few breaths here, relaxing. And then come back up. One more forward without holding so long. Just come forward and stretch the back. And then come all the way up and then give your shoulders a little roll. So always roll them backwards because if we roll forwards that's the way we normally are crouching and, and working and while we're on our computer and collapsing so really feel like you're rolling them backwards. Then if you can, I'll just sit side onto the chair, you're going to reach behind interlace your fingers. Now if you can't touch your hands, clasp your hands, just reach to the back of the chair. So you're on the side now of your chair and then draw your your shoulders back. Even if you can't interlace your hands, use the back of the chair to pull your shoulders back. If you can interlace your hands, great, reach further back. See if you can open your chest. Really expand the chest. Draw the shoulders down a little as you open. This is a great chest release. And release a little. Now, only if it feels okay, you bring your body forward with the arms interlaced. If you can, you send your hands towards the floor. slowly release and return to me. 
So there you have a few stretches and exercises that will hopefully give you a little bit of release to your body if you can't leave your desk or um, come up from a seated position. Let me know how you went with those and if they helped and hopefully I'll see you again soon either on the mat or on your chair. Thanks a lot, bye for now.